around the screen. Bunga shows. He lets it fly anyway. That's a tough shot. Costin high into the air for the rebound. Underneath to Nelson. And the foul as Johnson comes down with it. They come in playing lights out like they're seeing the Bobcats right now. Johnson the two free throws. So it's a two-point Portland State lead. Well, you tip your hat to Montana State. They were down nine. It looked like Portland State was going to run away with it. They made some adjustments. Now they find themselves in great position. Got away with that push again to Dominguez. Line them matched up, trying to control the point guard. Run the shot clock down to six. Murray along the baseline, knife and true. Andre Murray, the senior, recognizing he didn't have to settle for the three. Get to the bucket and make things happen on that scrambling defense from Montana State. See who Montana State tries to answer with. Bunga. No double this time. And the senior with a nice little jump hook. Bunga, he's got 20, Stephen. He gets hit in the face. He gets pushed around. He doesn't change his expression at all. He's just a machine down there. Team that is 14 and 16 on the year is not going away. Nice dish to Thomas and the foul on Devaldo Bunga. That's his team. And the double bonus the rest of the way. The state is struggling a little bit from the line here. One of two. Ken Bone wants to talk things over. Says Marquise Navari faces a little bit of pressure from Dominguez. And Dominguez known for his defensive. For his offense, but watching defensively, quick hands there on ball. Johnson, Austin a little bit late. Johnson a little bit strong. Vikings content to walk it up as we approach the one-minute mark. I still like that call by Montana State. Brandon Johnson has shot the ball really well from three during the tournament. He had a good look. Vikings trying to run some clock. They basically have two point guards on the floor of Dominguez and Waters. Tough to defend. Take it down to six on the shot clock, and Dominguez threw it away. Right to Brandon Johnson. One possession game. Less than a second difference. Shot clock and game clock. Like the fact that Brad Hughes did not call timeout. Trying to get a quick hitter here. Now he does. He doesn't like the way things look offensively, so. He's going to call the timeout. He's done. Let's you come away with a double. W. And that's it. The finality of that. Navari dishes out. They swing it. Johnson to three of a cost him. Yeah! He got it. And we are tied. No timeout called. Vikings looking for the win. Waters dishes down. Thomas the dunk. Not over. Timeout, Montana State. Remaining. Watch here. Marquise Navari gets all the way to the hole. Kicks out. Brandon Johnson showing you the ice water. Dunked there by Julius Thomas. Set up nicely by Dominic Waters. And Ken Bowden, you start to celebrate and then go, whoops, there's 3.5 <laughs> seconds left. I better not do this. In the run. He gets three bounces or 3.5 seconds left. They throw it to half court and rush. They called timeout. Everybody's out of timeouts now. Find them to inbound it. Howard, top of the key against the double. Howard had it taken away. And Portland State is going back to the dance. To back NCAA tournaments for Ken Bone and the Vikings of Portland State. It was Murray who came up with the big strip at the end. I was a little surprised by Montana State that time.